Welcome back. This video will explain how to set up your chart notes quick entry buttons. Using the chart notes templates can save you a lot of time and here's how you set them up. From the home screen, click the gear icon to the right of the chart notes button area. That takes you to an area where you have several tabs here and I'm going to give you an example of how you would set those up. For example, I can set this one up to say, I think I may already have it in here, but I can just call that batteries and then type in here patient in to purchase batteries. I can also set something up more elaborate. For example, if I want to set up template number 50 or whatever I want to call it, something that will remind me, I can paste in quite a bit of text. I've obviously already prepared that text, but I can put that in. Let me show you how those two things will work now that I've set those up. I have 1 through 10, 11 through 20, etc. And at the end of the options, I can print my chart notes either ascending or descending. And then I can separate my chart note examples by either a comma or some other symbol. But let's take a look at how that will work. When I click this symbol here, here's my buttons. And because I've renamed them, now I have the word batteries here. And with one click, it puts in, I could have put a period at the end of that. That would have been easier but I can very easily enter a phrase like that. But you can also enter the information in a much larger way. I could have done it here, but I think I have a bit more room to show you. So by clicking the template button up here, it puts all that information with a single click. And of course, then you can modify things uh, as needed. But I just wanted you to be aware that you could put in a word, a phrase, a sentence, a paragraph, or a full page or more of information with a single click if you simply set up your chart notes properly and then you can use them in the chart notes area.